While a Vancouver mother pleading not guilty in the suspected overdose death of her 21-month-old daughter, Catherine Richard faces manslaughter charges after an autopsy found drugs in the baby's system. Joel Jones digging deeper into all this. She joins us live. Just such a heartbreaking, sad story, Joel. It truly is incredibly sad. Neighbors tell me they are heartbroken and shocked. One woman even saying that the mother told her the toddler suffocated the night she died. Here's what a victim advocate shared on behalf of the baby's grandparents yesterday in court. I wish my daughter no harm, but I believe Ruth deserves justice and that Katie is currently using and will kill herself or run if you grant her bail. Strong words spoken on behalf of Catherine Richards' mother and stepfather as the 38-year-old stands accused of the death of her one-year-old daughter. The Vancouver mother appeared virtually in court yesterday, pleading not guilty after an autopsy found fentanyl and Narcan in the toddler's system. Court documents show Richards found the baby dead in her crib back in March. When officers reached the Vancouver home, she shared with her husband and another woman on Z Street. Investigators say they found drug paraphernalia and crystal meth in the basement. Katie said that she had lost her baby, and I said, what do you mean you lost your baby? And so she told me that she just stopped breathing. Neighbor Penny Saborin says she consoled the mother. The cops were here for a very long time, and the next thing I know is you see them rolling out a bag with, you know, a little bump in it. According to court records, when investigators told Catherine a month later that the child died from a lethal dose of fentanyl, she shook her head, replying, I'm careless, telling officers her roommate was smoking something off of foil. Although the mother denied using drugs at the time, she later admitted to using fentanyl after the toddler's death and giving her two doses of Narcan the day she died. She said, you know, she's been clean and sober all this time, but when the um, article came out and said that she was, and I was just like, wow, how could you lie about something like that and put your daughter in such danger? The district attorney's office tells Coyne the court is open to allowing her to spend time in treatment instead of jail as she awaits trial. She really needs to get clean and sober, and but that's going to be something she has to live with for the rest of her life. I couldn't imagine that. I think no jail would ever take that away from her or any of that pain. And court records show it was Richard's family that actually tipped off authorities that she received a one way ticket and might flee ahead of being charged. That led to her arrest on Tuesday. We're told us trial is slated for November 4th, so we will continue to track this closely. Reporting live in Vancouver, I'm Joelle Jones, Point Six News.